Hi guys, my name is Chrissy Osborne. I am pastoral lead for transition here at Bede Haven. Yesterday I filmed Mrs. Barsley doing a virtual tour of the school. I hope you enjoy it and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye. Hi Year Sixes, welcome to Bede Haven. So this is Valley Road and this is our entrance into the school. We've actually got two entrances into the school. I'll show you the other one later on. But basically if you live the town side of school, then you will come through the Valley Road entrance. Okay, so welcome to Viewhaven School. Let's go through. So, I've just come into the main foyer when you come through Valley Road and I've got two, not two actually, I've got three different routes I can take. Okay, if we turn to our left, we're going to the library. Come and meet our key worker children. So this is our library, slightly different to how it is normally because we've got lots of key worker children in here at the moment. We won't scroll around, but if Miss just points the camera that way a bit, then you'll see books, which you normally find in a library. There you go, okay? We came through Valley Road, we had the left direction to go to the library, and now I'm turning right, and this is the language corridor where you will be studying Spanish to begin with. What an amazing opportunity you've got learning a new language. So this is language corridor and if you notice on the doors they've got an L on them. So when you've got different doors, uh, oh I can go in a, a room, look at that. Since lockdown it doesn't normally look like this. But this is one of the language rooms. Some, some uh, students study French and Spanish. Language two. Wow, this room's got loads of flags, look at that. Lovely. So we've got there four language rooms where students um, study languages. Here we've got the ARB unit, which is where students come and, and they may have uh, disabilities, they may have learning needs that can't be addressed in a main school setting. So the ARB unit, the Arbor, is for students who need extra support with their learning in school. That's a lovely facility there. Come on through. The reason I'm holding this camera, by the way, isn't to film you guys. This is just because we were going to film on here, but we've decided not to use it. There's Miss Barnett in there. She's going to give us a wave. That's the attendance officer. Some of you might meet her over a few years. I hope not. But she's in our main office there working today. And then we've got, when we carry straight on the main corridor through school. And I do love this corridor. We've got so many amazing pieces of artwork. I just love it. That's one of my favourite corridors in school. In fact, the favourite. So just behind... Miss Osborne there is holding the, the camera for me, are some stairs, okay? And these are up only stairs, okay? Look, these stairs are up only. Uh, in emergency, slightly different, but these will take us to English and maths. Let's go. We're gonna go along the English corridor, okay? I've just come up the stairs and I'm turning left into English. Come on through. Oh, it's a bit dark. Come on through. So all the English, rooms go the whole length of this corridor. I'll just show you a classroom here. A lot of English classrooms. There's a lovely English room. It's so sad isn't it that no one's in there learning at the moment but it is what it is. E10 again just to make it a bit easier for you our English rooms have an E at the start of them so you know that E for English and then numbered one to ten. 10 classrooms, a lot of English rooms. Okay, let's go down. So it's a bit dark because there's no lights on, so apologies for that. Normally this school is closed up, so we've got access today. I just wanted to show you this area here. This is a learning support base. And sometimes students who have things like dyslexia and a kind of lower level in terms of reading, they get extra support in there. It's a fantastic hub of learning. 
So if you think, oh, that might be me, I need extra support when I'm learning in school, you may well be coming into the learning support base to get a bit of one-to-one -one support. And that's the area there. So that's along the English room into the learning support base, the English corridor. So um, I'll just show you this way. Just open the door there. This can show you down there. More English corridor. Look at those rooms. Those are them. Okay, so that's English done. Come on through and I'll show you maths. So straight opposite English, we have maths. So we come on through these doors here. It's a staff room there. And we've got the maths corridor, okay? Again, M1. So M for maths and then the number of the room. So when you get your timetable, you'll be able to see that. So this is one of the, the rooms. We'll carry on down. I like the snails on the wall there. This is a bit of a brighter room. You can really see here, that's a bit of a brighter room. It's lovely. Some of the rooms are really bright and light. And then we keep going down this corridor. So you've got all different maths rooms all the way down here. Toilets there. Then we carry on. More maths rooms. And then, heads of year office. Okay, this is where my offices. I haven't been in here for a while, actually. And this is where myself and Mrs Osborne are in terms of giving you support. Um, it's a bit of a mess at the moment because we've put everything in here because of lockdown. Uh, but it's a real hub of activity. And you'll find myself, the two Mr Rays who are current head of Key Stages, various pastoral and admin support staff here. So this is a real hub in the school as well. And sometimes if I call for you for a meeting, I'll bring you up here and we'll use one of the rooms and have a chat. Or if you need to see me, this is where I am. Okay. Okay, so this is math still. But I just wanted to show you this door. It's locked at the moment because we can't access this side of school. But basically here, these are automatic doors and you can get out then onto the lower playgrounds and access the other side of school that way. Okay, so that's a real kind of um, access, if you like, to the outside of this school. And if you look at the building slightly to the left, that's where the, the sports hall is.